Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to go and get some, do some mining to get some iron and some whatever. So I've got plenty of that. So let's get on with doing what we're doing. So let's, we need to make some pistons and stuff, don't we? So let's have a look what we've got. So I've got some, some iron nuggets and I've got some broken iron ore. What I'm going to do is take some cobblestone with me and some um, of these uncompressed coal. Take a well, I'd probably take two stacks of that, yeah. In fact, I made a mistake and got some of these mini coals. I'll take those as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to um, fire up. Oh, I built another furnace as well. So let's put all of that. I'll take what I'll do is take that to there. Put those into there. That actually should shift into there. Yes, it's not working. I've got a feeling I've got to do a reload. Just a second. Oh yeah, there we go. Somehow it doesn't always start up as it should do. So let's put those into there and let that get cooking. So these will cook down fairly quickly and give me eight more nuggets. I've got plenty of cobble. I've got plenty of gunpowder. And I didn't open this loot chest. So let's do that next. While we're waiting for these things to cook. Ah, what have I got here? For 64k crafting storage and an energy cell. That's a pretty good one, actually. Nice one. So, I just really have to wait and come back. I'll put these away in the meantime, I think. Yeah, we'll let these get on. What I want to do is use up these three coals because it'll be. Let's do it like this. And then we can go away and do other bits and pieces. So, let's go and put these away. 64k crafting storage is great because we can't craft any uh, ME stuff at the moment. What can we do? Right, let's put away this gunpowder. I don't think I need that. I'll keep the coals with me. And the nuggets. In fact, what we can do with the nuggets, we can craft up a couple of these and get these started to be made as pistons. So I need two of those, and I need some wood. Probably need more wood, actually. Also, what I need to do is to light up that area behind me. If we go and have a look, we'll have a look in a second. What I'm going to do is build a, um, a floodlight. And the floodlights are pretty good in this pack. They're pretty cheap too. So, um, and it's from Router Reborn. This one here doesn't require any power. Just one piece of glowstone and eight torches. So we can probably make a couple of those. I think I made enough for two. Yeah, I did. So we've got two of these Router Reborn tor um, floodlights. Let's go and put them in here because for some reason or other, this room's got no lighting in it. So if we press F3, we can have a look here. And on the left left hand side, just above the JM, you see WS, and then we see LC, which is a lighting. And so it says here it's at level six already, and at this corner it's level four. So what I'm going to do is simply put in here. I've got a pickaxe with me, which I haven't actually. If I built a pickaxe, and it might be night time too. Let's have a look. I don't know. I built a pickaxe, not pick. Oh, I have good. Just one stone will do fine. So around about the centre of the room is this is not quite well all we need to do is put up this like this and then this lights up this room here now you can see that the light level is 13 so this room is now mob safe but let's go and get these pistons cooking so we need that 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 but we also need some redstone so let's go oh, wrong place anyway that's the collection chest in fact you can see this didn't actually carry on because um, because of the recipe is not loading up. Let's turn off the, the debug information again. And what do we want? Some redstone. We actually need eight, so let's just do like that and put the others away so we know what we're doing. Place again, let's put those in there, and then we should be able to click pistons on here. And it should made those already. Well, that was fast. Oh, two only had two to make, didn't it? In the meantime, we'll charge it up with some more ender pearls. Making ender pearls, this should start to work. There we go. So let's have a look how we're doing over here with these furnaces. We should have some more stuff to make some more iron ingots to carry on. 
and fill up this and fill up this one as well with so we need 216 nuggets to make one de chemical decomposer that's what I'm doing in this exercise uh, in this episode so let's um, get rid of those and let's make some more nugget and we need a uh, yep we can make all of these into into our nuggets so there we got five now so that we, we just need one more uh, and we should be able to just go down here and do that see that becomes active again so we can just turn off this done those you see and we should have seven pistons of the eight we need and then we need a block of iron so that's uh, nine ingots nine seven sixty three i think it's almost a stack of it ingots for that so that should give us enough for the last piston let's get that made unfortunately it's three by three crafting so i could make a crafting a crafter on a stick here couldn't i and i will check also i've got enough um yes i've got enough of everything i need so that's good let's turn that off and do the same thing again and we can then turn that one off and put it back on again so now we've got our eight pistons which we need to make the core so now it's just a bit of a waiting game really unfortunately downstairs has run out of uh, power so i have a bit of a problem i have to basically somehow or other get either down there and put some power i probably could do something like this let's do this for starters so we know it's down four blocks don't we so if we just dig down here f th four blocks go down here one so i can put it in when i actually get here there you see you can now we can now put this um floodlight down the bottom here like that and then fill it all in again and that'll at least light that area i'm not sure how that's going to help at the moment but at least we know that downstairs is starting to get a bit better fill that up and this side that's going fine 15 there we just have to wait there's nothing else i can do on this one i don't think until it happens and let's just check outside there seem to be a lot of mobs around but are they is it daytime i think it's daytime let's have a quick look this is daytime what i could do of course put some more cobble into here because i put in a, a fluid and the fluid tank beside this Probably a bit of a waste of i uh, no it's the one i used that we got before these are all underground these mobs so there are caves underneath here anyway so what do we need to do we need to eat soon too i'm going to check the oxygen next so i wanted more some more cobblestone don't i You end up with get quite a lot of cobblestone when you do the dirt, but there is a more efficient way of making it anyway, using mine chem. I don't understand those. They, they track me, but I'm not quite sure how or why they're tracking me. Let's fill up these three. I haven't got any uh, pipes connecting these together yet. And I haven't got hopper filling this up either, so uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. But we have enough here for. Oh, we've got, well, we've got 10 buckets of lava already, good. Which I think is more than enough for what we need to do next. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, what I should also build, it, maybe you have to wait a bit, is a. I was going to build a, an open blocks tank and a, an XP grate so I save my XP because you get that as rewards if we have a look over here in the quest rewards let's have a look at that right that's the one we got, we're aiming to do next the chemical decomposer but other other ones of these quests gives us XP as things I think they're in the um, elements or something like that so we can do sw swagmill we can't even begin to do and scrap a calculation press we can actually do that one well, that only gives us one reward what else have we got here so this one gives us 10 levels of xp to make a blueprint projector a fusion a fusion chamber blueprint and a fishing chamber blue, blueprint and there's quite a few of these 
uh, reward quests that gives you XP. And you don't want to lose it, so you might as well uh, keep it somehow. We're doing with these things, are they done yet? 13 to go there and 11 to go there. That's not to uh, finish about the same time. 52 and 58. We'd only need about. I wonder if I've got my calculations wrong. Could easily be. Just to make sure, let's get some more oil iron out of here. Did I get three stacks? I should have got three stacks. Anyway, six is not quite there for the. I think we need more actually. I could build more furnaces here, or I could just cut and wait until everything's done. Let's put that in there. That in there, and I can actually hear zombies. They're probably the ones underneath anyway. So now we've got the seventh. Okay, I think I got one stack too few. It was three stacks and 24 is what I needed for the 200. And so then I got, think I got two stacks out. So anyway, let's make the seventh one of these. And we can have a look at the recipe. What You'll see what I need. So there's the seven, and we actually want to make the chemical decomposer. This one. So we need the seven iron ingots for here, and one atomic thing, which we basically need the eight pistons, which we've got, and one block of iron. So we just have to wait for the iron to come through. In the meantime, I can show you what I've been doing digging out. It's it's quite a process. And I did it in a sort of really reasonably systematic way. I came over here and basically dug a channel a channel across over here like this. And as you can see, there are caves down here. And all I did was basically go along like this and just hammer away. Of course, this is a this uses up energy. In fact, we might as well do this somewhere this while we're actually waiting for the other bits to finish. Because we're going to get moon rock and moon turf. I think this is moon turf. And moon dirt. Now moon dirt has a second use for fuel, so I'm keeping some of this. And maybe I'll keep quite a lot of it actually. Because the other use of it is cobblestone. Cobblestone and coal. And as you hit the moon day, it goes faster than when you hit the moon rock. And this is a Tinker's Construct Hammer, uh, which means that we can actually do things to it, like make, put, add some redstone to it. Or maybe some lapis if, it's, if we need luck. And there we go. So that's all I've been doing here, which has been going along here mining that away and coming out at this level. So now we've run out of cobble here, let's fill it up again. I'll fill out the other two. And then hopefully I'll have got some more of this finished. If not, I'll just cut away until it's all smelted up because it's a 24 to go there, 22 to go there. Right, I'll just make a pause and wait for these to actually have finished. I can see if you right, got the stuff now. Let's have a look and make our uh, should be able to finish this off and sort out this one quest here, and then we can go on to the next quest. I think 63 will give me 907. Oh, I knew there was something wrong. Oh, 707. Seven. Well, I can make the block and we can make the other bits. So let's do that first of all. So we can make the core now or the atomic manipulator. So we just got to wait for no, the other four blocks. In fact, while we're here, let's put the moon dirt away here. That was moon turf. Actually, the moon turf will take with us because that's has is good for redstone and glowstone. And the dirt we can put in here as well. I have to be careful not to click this with my thing. I've done that lots of times so far. And you see we get a lot more compressed, uncompressed coal. While those are going on, let's go and have a look and see here. This is how we're getting on. Other seven. Hopefully, I've got enough. I don't think I've got enough, actually, to be honest with you. I think I need some more. 
looks like I've got 16, a 3, 8, 18. 18 is 2, that gives me 7, I'm short of 2. That was clever, wasn't it? Let me have a look and see what we need. Iron. So 2 is 18, so let's just do take 32 and put 18 in, so that's 9 in each. Shall do like shall do like this. Fill that up with that as well, and do the next one. Fill that up as well. So they won't take too much longer, and then we will have enough, I think, for another. I'm not using any extra. I want to keep this to the minimum because I want to save what we've got. So let's put the next 45 into here. What have we got here? So we've got already got one stack of broken iron in here. And a should have a stack of this as well, but just waiting a second. And as soon as this is done, we'll put the turf in as well. To let that get through. Actually, I'm not getting very many diamonds from this. Right. That's all I've done for the mining here. Let's go and have a look over here now. How are we doing? Halfway through. Very tedious. Fill it up. Fill it up. Take the other six out. So we've nearly just got a few seconds to go now. And then while we're doing that, we'll just take the stuff out of here. We've got 64 items. So I'll just take everything out, actually, especially the ores, because they're not going to come in through anymore. I could take everything out of here. I'm going to put that away. It does get a bit easier later on, but it's still been, it's quite difficult to automate some of the machines in this pack. I want those. I'm not sure about the wood. I don't think I need the wood at the moment. We we'll probably have to make some more because I've only got 10 phyto grow stuff as well. So that'll give me another piece, 10 pieces of wood. So I need to make some of this phyto grow. But first of all, we do need to get this atomic manipulator going. Now that looks like there's a finish. Great. If I fill it up, take the other one out. We won't need these furnaces because you can't do much with them later on. But we've got enough now to make the, the next machine. Phew. Oh, actually, I went over the top, didn't I? Never mind. So let's have a look. Yep, two extra. Okay, so there we have our quest completed. Let's go and have a look what we've done. Let's get back to Moon Trance, and we've got this one detect, claim. So we get the microscope as well done, which is a great reward. And then the next one leads us on to. What do we have to do here? Combining it. No, that's greyed out. That means I have to do this one. Silicon is so useful. So we have to make 10 silicon dioxide. So what does it say? Let's try to break down some of the obsidian we made. Okay. And we get 10 snow, which is great. But 10 silicon dioxide. Now, silicon dioxide. I've got one obsidian here. I need another one. Where is the... Oh, it's outside, isn't it? Doors. Wait for it to close and then try again. I'll make a few pieces of this uh, obsidian and I didn't bring a bucket with me. Great. I'll go back and get the bucket. One bucket. Well, we need one bucket. So, there, there. OK. 
catch it. Put it in and it flies up to me, which is great. While we're doing that, let's put some more cobblestone into there. Right, that's now not got enough for the next one. Let's make sure we've got some more cobblestone in there, that's good. So what have we got here now? We picked up 14 or 13 obsidian. Let's go and put this down and convert this to silicon dioxide. I'm not going to convert all of it. I'm going to leave four, I think. Wrong machine. Can't see it. Let's put it down, say, here. Where are we going to put this thing? Let's put it beside the synthesizer to start with. And here we've got our 10 already. So let's take those 20 out of here, then press the button and detect. So now we get to the snow, we can claim that. Done. And that opens up the next qu uh, quest combining it, which basically means we've got to make four glass and we get in exchange one tin gear. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's put some of this snow into here like that. Keep our oxygen supplies up. Now, what we have to do now is to make four glass. Now, four glass is basically four corners with four in each. What well, is quite easy, if you press here and then you just click keep your mouth very steady and click you'll get your your four and that will make one piece of glass actually it'll make two because we've got all, all of those in there to start with but we might as well get the rest of these out so we need four pieces of glass which in fact is one stack of this i do it like that i think it's one stack 16 yes exactly we get four pieces of glass let's press the button Detect submit and claim our tin gear done. So let's have a look at what we got here now. Retinal. How to make a we've got oh we haven't done the water one yet, have we? We've got to make one retinal, which will give me sixty-four water. I'll give it sixty-four water. So that is two carbon, a twenty-nine hydrogen and one oxygen hydrogen it's oxide i guess so let's do that for all. i think we need to get some water as well so for water let's just get a bucket of water no not let's not get a bucket of, let's get some saplings here how many saplings have i got might not have any in here might so, so let's go back over here We've got seven saplings and five pieces of wood. I'll tell you what, we'll use the wood, I think, because I think that's what makes the saplings and the air in the first place. So let's just take, let's do a couple of pieces of wood to start with and see how we get on. Oh, it didn't work. Ah, oh, there we go. So this time I've got eight cellulose. And here you get carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So we can put those into here, and those come out as one for one. Fantastic. We've actually got plenty now to do the to do what we need to make the retinol, which basically makes a carrot. And we should also have a microscope as a reward. Let's put the microscope down. Where should we put the microscope down? Let's put it down, say over here. And you can use this to analyse stuff. So for example, put wood in here, it should tell me no, it doesn't actually. It tells me what I can use to make wood. And if I look in the book, then it would actually make that. So we've got to make the book. But first of all, let's get this made. So we need one oxygen, hydrogen. And I guess that's just one hydrogen and one oxygen. What do we have? Hydroxide. Okay, we need one of those. And then we needed... I, I can't remember exactly what it was. Retinol. I think that's 20 carbon and 29 hydrogen. So that should be like that. 
20 of those, 29 hydrogen. And one hydroxide will give me one retinol. Like that. In fact, we can put all of this into here because we don't need it as such in there. So what do we get from that now? Let's detect and submit this. We get 64 water. Let's claim those. Done that. So we had water here. We can actually simply detect, I think. Yeah, indeed, we can because we got the water from the previous one. And we get these fluid transposer resonant. Fantastic. 64 empty tubes and one ME fluid export bus. Done. So, next quest. More efficient ways. We need to improve our yields from those traces. I think chemistry can help us. So what we've got to do here is make one iron oxide and one copper. And we get a block of redstone as a return as a reward. Now that that's pretty straightforward. We need to go and get some iron, which I've got with me. I'm not I think we'll just use one of these, yes exactly. And this will decompose one for one. Like that. And we need some one piece of copper for the redstone. We could actually take redstone and do that. So, but we've got copper here and I think we need a nugget. So here we have copper. Just take one of those. We could actually try decomposing this, but I don't think it'll work. Because if you look at the rest of it, if you look at the usage of the broken copper ore, you can make copper gravel, or you can smelt it into a nugget, or use it, or put it into Magna Crucible here, and then, or you can use it as a, uh, that's just alloy smelter, and that's it. So you can't chemically decompose this. What's happened to this? It's already finished, I guess. All right. So we should be able to get one piece of copper from here. Let's decompose that. Great. So now what we've got is iron oxide. So we need, let's get rid of this recipe. We'll be able to save that later on. So we need iron oxide. Now that is two iron and three oxygen. Just right clicking that there. So we get an iron oxide. And then we put the iron oxide with the copper together. I not think, don't think it goes like that. Let me just check what I need to do with this one. So let's look for redstone. And let's look for the recipes for this one. Let's go to sawmill X9. Here you go. So it's copper in the middle and iron oxide as you can see it's three it's two iron and three oxygen in the top right hand corner so copper in the middle in fact that will give us the recipe so let's just fix the quest now detect which should be done if it doesn't actually say these are complete we need to detect it so we now get our block of redstone done so the next one is shiny capital and we have to make three carbon nanotubes and we get 12 carbon nanotubes in exchange I think we've already done this once carbon nanotubes that is basically a lot of uh, carbon so we need three so we need four stacks of carbon per nanotube now what I've got here is coal but coal is actually less efficient and there's a slight bug let's take all of those mini mini blocks if you look for the recipes for the uses of carbon here let's have a look if you look for the usage of these here you can basically make a piece of coal and you can use it uh, to smelt one nugget which is what we've been doing and you can decompose it to one carbon okay and if we look at the usage of uh, coal we can obviously do smelting. We've got smelting recipes as well, of course. And as you can, did I see that right? You can smelt 
thought I saw coal, I thought I saw charcoal here, which would give me that material fuel. Yeah, there we can macerate it to dust, compress it. What we're actually interested in, in is the chemical decomposer. We only get a 92% chance of eight carbons, which is great. But the problem is this. If I use, if I want to have a look at the, let's go back to the recipe of that one. If we look at the uses of this one here, uh, can we do the recipe for that? We'll actually make shapeless. So if I put one in the top left here, I should get eight. And I think, I oh, he's got his fixed it, good. So I can go like this. You see, now I get these mini coals here. Let's just try that on a, th on a three by three crafting. You see, you get these mini coals. And I thought there was a the usage of that was to give me that. If I look here at shapeless crafting here, that's right. You see, you get this multiple recipes and it's picking this one. I think it's got fixed this one. And there's also fragmented carbon from galactic. Carbon. So Cole's got three different recipes, which isn't actually ideal. So what we're going to have to do now, since I've made this up, is to decompose coal. In fact, doing coal is just fine because I know I'm not going to get quite so many, but it does go through, it doesn't go through as fast as the other one. So that is now one carbon nanotube. Let's go and get these. I think they go in the four corners. Let's put the rest of some in there while it's doing that one. Clear this one off. I think it's actually I'm not 100% sure is it like this oh yes so that will give me one like that uses up all the carbon in there so we've got another one and we've got enough oh, I've got enough space there well actually let's put some mini mini coals in there to get those going up a bit so now, seven and the eighth one is there. Let's get the eighth one out of here and get another stack of mini coals going through there. And we should be able to get our three carbon nanotubes. So let's do that. Detect and we get 12 carbon nanotubes in exchange, which is great. So then we can then goes on to making we've opened up two more quests I think it's this one we have to do next to make three lasers I think that's one of the reasons for this uh, let's make some diamonds so we've got all of these 15 nanotubes now and I think the best use for those is simply like uh, three I think it's three Oh, it's one in the right place. Let me just find the right place. Ah. That gives me a small amount of diamond dust. I thought it was the bottom corner. I'm not seeing this. Let's just go to the... Let's look for the usage of this. That would probably be the best way. A bit empty tubes there. Oh, three in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, good. There we go. So now we should have a few diamonds. We've got three. I think we actually get four. I know, 15. We're short of. Nope, that's it. Three. 15. Yep, yeah, exactly. Hold on a second. Five. That's correct. We can tapeless craft those to normal diamonds, which we need for this recipe. Because we've got to make three lasers. So let's have a look at those. Try it in the right place. And we get two rewards for speed up, so we need to make basically it's just this crafting here. I could have used industrial diamonds in this recipe. So I've got to get I've got two at least. Put those there. 
Uh, I don't know what diamonds in here. Let's put those in like that. I should have enough. So we just need two more obsidian, which we'll go and get, and then we'll call that a day for today. And I'll need a tank of my oxygen as well. Hopefully I've got I've certainly got enough for this one up. We'll just fill up this one to take one rocket out of nope. There. And again. So we need let's make sure we've got everything filled up. And later on we'll automate that nicely as well. So now we should have enough for the third laser. So we have. So we've now got three lasers. Let's clear that off and let's have a look at the quest. Detect. Claim. So now we have five lasers done. So. One last thing. Let's just fill up the, take the oxygen off here and do this. I put it there, there, and there. You sometimes get a little hit on that one, but it doesn't matter very much. But you don't take a hit yourself, because I haven't got much food, so it's a good idea not to take any hits at the moment. So I've got an ME ex food export bus as well. Let's put some of this stuff away that we don't need. Well, we do need it, but not just yet. I'll leave that like that and get rid of these. And get rid of the mint and the redstone and the water okay so until next time bye for now